Well, good morning, everyone. We're out here in Bullard's Bar. Thought we'd try here by the log boom this morning. And uh, we got a bunch of different gear in the water. And um, I don't know, uh, Dodger's working good. That one looks good. I think we just seen Mark Hall over there at the boat launch. And uh, beautiful day compared to yesterday. What do you think, J.U.? It's going to happen. Nice and cold, yep. but water is very clear. Oh, yeah, it's nice. And uh, had good rain yesterday, so uh, figured we'd try here by the log boom, a couple passes, and then we'll head up the lake, probably to the schoolhouse or somewhere up that direction. There you go, guys. Oh, it's a nice one, too. That's a new spinner I made up the other day. Look at this, guys. And just a two ounce, that's it. No, no doubt that we can eat it. Well, we struck first kokanee. Nice little guy, super chrome bright. Uh, got it on two ounces of lead, 75 feet back. And a mule kicker, uh, giraffe colored dodger. And a homemade, uh, spinner I did. And, uh, what do you think, Ju? That was so exciting. That little thing hit so hard. It was oh. yes, yeah, first fish of day. Yeah, it was good. I love it. Yeah, boy, it's sure nice out here today. It was kind of wet yesterday. I um, was using my Denali uh, the crappie rod. Actually, it's a prime, and uh, boy, that's going to work good for kokanee fishing this year. Yeah, that was homemade one. Well, second yeah, fish, fish on. I think we got another yeah, one on the other rod too. There. Yeah. Um, we had a double. Let me get the net. Yeah, yeah family. Woo! <laughs> we had a double, man. There he is. There he is. Wow. Good nice one there too. That's on your. This one whip a whip. Yeah, about 100 feet out. I just no counters. I just I did like 50 pull like I normally do. Okay. Ju just got one here. 30 feet deep. Um, got it on a spin clown spinning glow <laughs> and a tornado flasher uh, flasher, I guess. Yeah, tornado flasher. Yeah. Dang. Boy, nice little guy. Um, Love you. <laughs> kind of still going crazy. I think we got one on the other side. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, he was had both take but at the same time. Yeah. I know the corn is going on that one for sure. Well, I'm going to switch up on one of my rods. It hasn't been getting bit. Um, we're going to go to this uh, Brad's Kokanee Cut Plug. Put some corn on it. I put some sand in there, some shrimp oil. And then uh, one of these gyro uh, flashers we got. And uh, what are you getting them on, J.U.? Tornado flasher and some homemade rigs. Thanks to all these guys who've yeah. taught me. Uh, I didn't know anything about coconut salmon fishing. Fat Dog, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Warren Ferryson. Thank you, Tornado Flasher, Dave Kostnick. You guys are the one that taught me how to do this thing. Having a blast, man. It's so fun. Yeah. Oh, fish on, buddy. Fish, fish on. on. Fish on. Yes. Fish on. Oh, Look at fish that. On. I thought I'd show you guys how far away we are from the boat launch and the dam. Uh, there's the houseboat. You can see the uh, spillway over there. Uh, we caught two fish right here by the old dam. It's located right in this area where we're at. So, um, looks like it's going to be a good day, I hope. We just talked to Mark Hall, and uh, he's got one on the box just across the lake from us. So, we're going to turn around and go back to where we caught those, and uh, hopefully pick up a couple more. Just as we're videotaping, my brother got a fish on. And that was so cool because he got a takedown on that too, guys. Okay, that one came off. Oh well. <laughs> so here I thought I'd show you guys what we're using. I got a two ounce uh, kidney sinker, mooch and weight, whatever you want to call it. Um, gyro lures, mule kicker in giraffe color. And then a little spinner I tied up today with some corn and a little bit of trout. Uh, trout, with trout set. And then I'm going to put this one out here in a second too. We'll be back. Okay, we just got another one. I kind of switched up my gear a little bit. I wasn't getting the 
bit on the grabs cut plug. Um, so giraffe, mule kicker, one of those little shrimp things, and a number two Colorado. Bone bright, shiny kokanee. What do you think, do you? I think that's a hot one. Yeah. We caught a lot of them on that one last time. Yeah. So. Well, Ju's been getting them on a spinning blue clown color, so that's why I got them switched up. Okay, guys, we just had a double. Um, what? That was chaos, right there. I, yeah. <laughs> we got one on a lime green spinning blue with a tornado flasher flasher, and then I got one on my shrimp rig with a. Um, a Crazy. Mule kicker in a giraffe. So, what do you think, Jay? You this a good Man. spot to fish? That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was chaotic right there for a second. Yeah. You know what happened? Okay, guys, we're 135 feet deep, but we're only about 20 to 30 feet down, and we can't keep these fish off our hooks. We're trolling at about 1.7 to 2 miles an hour, and we're just smacking them left and right. Okay, we moved up the lake a little bit. Um, we're up here by the point where it turns up towards schoolhouse and uh, well sorry I haven't filmed for a few minutes we've been kind of busy <laughs> we couldn't even get our gear back in the water Man. you'll have to watch JU's video to uh, get the see all that but uh, what do you think JU's good Man, spot to fish we're getting, we're getting double triple hookup and I couldn't even do a good job of filming so if the film turned out bad I apologize, but what a great problem to have today, guys. Yeah. Rod going left and down, it was crazy. <laughs> Boy. Been a pretty nice day. Sun's out. You can see we're dams right back there. We're not too far. So what I wanted, what I wanted to tell you guys was on this rod, um, I've taken my weight completely off. I'm just running the flasher back there. And uh, we've been seeing fish jump right up on top. And uh, we're not sure if they're kokanee or trout, but they're uh, one or the other. And um, see if we can get one to bite on a top line without any weight. Um, I'm 75 feet back and uh, just a dodger and a spinner. So we'll get back to you in a few minutes, see if we can catch something. Okay, family, what I've been getting them is really shallow, maybe 20 feet down. And the other one is five feet up from that. So roughly 20 and 15. I got both my spinning go out there right now. And for some reason, we can't keep them on the hook. <laughs> they keep on popping off. I try to be impatient and try to land them without using the net. So we lose a lot of them that way too. But they seem to be really on top right now. Okay, J.U. just got another one. It's, it's on a tornado flasher. We don't know the model number of that one. But a uh, clown spinning glow and a couple pieces of corn. It's Looks been, like number six hooks. Oh, yep. Oh, and man, this one, the, the other hook is windy. It's down under. Yeah, he ate it. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Boy, another nice one. Yes. Wow, family, here you go. Another one of my experiment and rig works. So I think I only got one more to go, that big old spinner, and I've got the coconut hit in every single rig I made today. And this time it's gone that tomato flasher right there. And that right there, spinning glow. Green this time. Hey guys, Warren and JU. We're out here, it's what, December 6th? And uh, beautiful day. Beautiful day, <laughs> compared to yesterday. Um, decided to take a day off, come out and do a little coconut fishing on New Bullyards Bar Reservoir. Most of you guys are probably familiar with that place. So what do you think, Jay? What do you like this place? Oh, I love this place. Uh, yeah. It's so beautiful and it seems like everybody's working or something. <laughs> We're the only here. <laughs> We're the only one here. We've got a whole uh, reservoir to ourselves. What an yeah. amazing day. Yep. So um, we're going to show you the stuff we used and the fish we caught today. So stand up, hold on. Okay, here's the tackle we were using today. Um, we got the gyro lures, these are the mule kicker flashers, and um, we were using these little uh, shrimp things. They seem to work really good. And I put a, a number two uh, Colorado blade on them, and then on this one, 
I tied up with just a couple of tentacles off a of hoochie and uh, two beads and a purple um, smile blade. And then on this one, another mule kicker, but I just put some tape on it. And uh, we had this little micro hoochie with a smile blade on it. And uh, I think we had one bite on it today, didn't we? And then... Uh, I this, think everything you put out today you got hit on yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. And then um, this is the other one we were using today, but I never, I don't think we got a bite on this one. No. Uh -uh. No. But this is a Brad's Kokanee Cut Plug. And uh, this is a gyro flasher. Uh, I don't remember what we named that one yet, but it's working pretty good. Uh, this flasher works really good. The kokanee cut plug, yeah, we weren't too impressed with it today. So, why don't you tell them what you're using, Ju? You? Well, uh, let's well, let's talk about Mark. So Mark Hall was fishing side by side by side with us, and he limited out pretty quick. And he was using this Max lure right here, and he was trolling about the. Um, same speed as us, maybe 1.5, 1.7, but he was down at 30, 30 feet deep. Whereas we're really, really high up. We are uh, anywhere from 20 feet on up is what we catch him. And you know, I'm a brand new coconut fisherman. I learned my stuff from Warren and DK and uh, other people, Fat Dog. I, I just experimented. I started putting some of the spinners together and this one actually glow in the dark and it got a hit right off the bat. Uh, and then the spinning glow here was an amazing. Yeah, it worked really good. Yeah, it worked really well. Yeah. Uh, and I just paired them all up with my good friend DK's flasher called Tornado Flasher. Uh, there was another gold one. They all. It seemed like you didn't care what uh, what color flasher I put on. I mean, it just it just hits every single thing. Um, and I all I did is I used just the corn uh, in tuna in oil. That's it. I left it overnight. Yeah. And here's some other beautiful scent that. Um, one, you want to tell them about that? Yeah, that's the scent I was using. Just a couple drops on there. And then today I decided to use uh, everything you could buy from a store. I normally do my own corn like what JU had. But this is just uh, Potsky's Bait Company Fire Corn. And I was putting a couple of these uh, kind of white ones on. And a couple of these pink ones on. And uh, oh, turn that around the right way. And then uh, we tried some gulp maggots. Um, I don't know that we had any bites on those either. I think we did, I think we had one bite, but the corn was definitely the thing. And then the Atlas Mike's uh, Lunker Trout scent was the, was the scent for today. Normally I like to use shrimp or krill, but they seem to like this today for some reason. And uh, that's pretty much what we were using. Um, we were fishing anywhere from right on top down to 30 feet and it didn't seem to matter uh, too much where we were uh, where we were trolling I think uh, most of the time from what Tim Trong was telling me this is the old dam right here and that's where we were fishing over the top of that seemed to be where most of the fish were uh, we trolled by the log boom this morning with no bites and uh, then we just moved up here and uh, started catching them I bet we lost probably what do you guess? Uh, 50, 60? <laughs> um, Too many to count, for yeah. sure. We brought the, I brought the wrong rods, and J.U. forgot his rods. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, just the big salmon rods from fishing in the river with us, and uh, they're a little stiff for these kokanee. Yeah, until uh, we figured out that we had to set the track, track loose, we were losing too many. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we were doing today. Nice day. Real pleasant to be out. Um, a little cool this morning, but... Uh, it was uh, pretty nice here now about noon, so Lake's Black Calm. I think there was, what, four or five boats out here today that we've seen? Early in the morning, that's yeah. about it. Yeah. And they took off pretty much early. Yeah. Then we got a whole lake to ourselves. Just, you know, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're going to show you the fish here in just a second. Okay. Ready? Okay, um, here's our fish that we caught today. We got our two limits, 20. And they're not the biggest fish in the world, but they're uh, sure nice and fun to catch. Nice chrome little fish and uh, very good to eat. Uh, they're good to smoke or fry. Um, how do you cook them, J.U.? 
Oh, so far I've just been smoking them and that's so good. Can't keep it off my kitchen at all. My kids love them. I mean, the meat is fantastically red. I mean, they're really, really tasty. Well, there you go. That's fishing at our local lake. Great place to fish. We got fish jumping right in front of us. I don't know what kind they are, but uh, maybe we should try to catch them too while we're here. Anyway, there you go. See ya.